This is the Sentry Arms AP5, basically an MP5 clone. That's classic. What's going on everybody? This is Steve with the Mr. Big Kid channel. I appreciate you all watching. Today we're going over this guy right here. This is the Sentry Arms AP5. This is basically a Turkish MP5 clone and import imported by Sentry Arms. Now, first of all, I'm gonna say for testing of this, I borrowed this guy from True Shot Gun Club. So shout out to them for letting me borrow this for a couple weeks to test out and run it through my paces. I'm gonna say it's a fun shooter. First of all, it's a really fun shooter. It's a gun that is just built for suppression if that's what you want to do. It's a classic design that dates back from H&K's MP5 design back in the 1970s. So there's a couple features that this has that might make it look kind of different compared to the MP5 that you might be thinking. First of all, since it is technically a pistol, this is an arm brace, this is not a stock. So let's look at some other things that kind of differentiate the looks of it. This has a Picatinny rail adapter attached to it already. It attaches with these four screws right here. Right on here you also have like a 9mm flash hider that's actually like a tri-lug flash hider. So it's kind of unique. So you can see it kind of locks in. See right here the muzzle device is a lot more traditional to the MP5 that you might notice. It has a tri-lug adapter right here which is common on the old H&K designs. And then right here you have threaded barrel which is one half by 28 threading so you can put on a nine millimeter suppressor that's a very common thread pitch for nine mil suppressors this right here is a rugged obsidian this is the 45 so it's made by rugged suppressors it's a pistol suppressor chambered in 45 so i kind of bought this as a universal suppressor i could put it on all my nine mils all the way up to 45 caliber i don't have the trilog attachment for it but since it does have the half by 28 threading obviously i can mount it that way This gun is an absolute pleasure to shoot suppressed. Since it does have that system, you don't have that standard blowback system. It's a very soft shooter and it's not blowing all sorts of gases in your face either, like a DI AR, direct impingement AR, something like that. So the front of this does have a fixed front sight and in the back you have that classic design. It's that adjustable rotating cylinder type sight, which I like those a lot. Again, classic design. They have that roller lock delayed blowback system, which is a very, very soft, soft shooter. It's gonna be a lot softer than your other standard direct blowback um, nine millimeter PCCs out there. Essentially when I borrowed this from True Shot Gun Club, it was just the pistol, no brace on it. I borrowed this brace from my friend Robert. You've probably seen him in a couple of my videos. He, he shoots with me a lot and um, he's a great dude. So I appreciate you Robert. Thanks for letting me borrow the brace for this review. This does come with two 30 round magazines. And a couple things you might notice when shooting this. Before we continue with that, you're gonna hear me alternate the terms MP5 and AP5. I mean AP5, it's an MP5 clone, it's a Turkish MP5 clone, so um, don't hate you know, if I keep alternating the AP5, MP5. So up here is safe, down one is fire, off safe. This is a semi-automatic firearm, but you'll notice there's another little nub cut out right there, another little notch. That's for your giggle, I tried. It doesn't go any further down than that. It 
it's been perfect. It's been absolutely flawless when it fires. The reloads are very easy on MP5 and you get the opportunity to slap that charging handle a lot, which is fun. That's one of my favorite things to do. It's just fun to do on the MP5. I did it on my Scorpion too, but the MP5 is classic. So one thing with the MP5 is there is no bolt hold open feature on this thing. When this thing runs empty, you just get a click. That's it. There's no bolt hold open. So basically what happens is when it's empty, you pull the magazine out, you can lock that charging handle up top, put your new magazine in, and you can slap that charging handle back down and then that's what reloads that next round. Of course, you don't have to slap it back if you're like overly sensitive about slapping your guns, you know, it's fine, whatever. I mean, of course, you can also put your magazine in and just rack it back, but have an opportunity to hold it, put your new mag in, and slap that charging handle. That's an MP5 thing. I mean, that's Hollywood, bro. I like slapping the charging handle, sorry. This does have a stamped receiver. Um, again, it comes with two 30 round magazines and this is a Turkish clone. So it's made at a factory in Turkey. I think it's the MKE factory at Turkey. And then it's imported by Century Arms. MSRP on this guy is around $2,000, which is still really expensive. Um, it's a lot cheaper than the H&K SP5, but we all sometimes, sometimes we just crave having that MP5 clone. So, as much as I wish this costs even less than 2000 bucks, it is what it is. You're getting something that is kind of iconic. Obviously it's a clone, but it's still an iconic design. And it's made pretty much, it's made to factory specs for the H&K version. So you are getting a good firearm. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, those sights are really on. All right, whenever you're ready. Uh, I'm all looking for a dot. Yeah. That kind of sucks. You can't do like this. Yeah. Because you can't see the sight. It you got to hold it like the 80s, like at your head. You definitely or... need a red dot. Yep, I agree. So this tri-lug, it just kind of snaps in, pinch the slatch, put it in there. Now the question is, should you buy this? I'm gonna say, if you want a modern SMG, submachine gun style PCC pistol, it's not really a carbine, it's a pistol, I get it, whatever. If you want something like that, there's a lot of options out there in that price range for something that has more features, the CZ Scorpion models. CZ Scorpion, for example, is gonna be a little more affordable, well, a lot more affordable, and it's gonna have very similar traits and properties. Palmetto State Armory has the AKVs, the ARVs, and all that and they're a lot cheaper, a lot cheaper than the Scorpions too. Um, they all take the Scorpion mags. There's a lot of nine millimeter PCCs out there from like Foxtrot Mike and stuff. So you have a lot of options. So the market that this thing pertains to is gonna be that person that's long to have the classic Agent K MP5. It's gonna be a lot more expensive than the AP5, but for a very accurate, very good clone, and it performs really well. It's a very comfy shooter. I love that roller delay blowback. Very smooth, very soft. Those rounds really do feel like they're rolling out of the gun, believe it or not. Um, and this thing, there's no reason why this shouldn't see thousands and thousands and thousands of rounds without any failures. It's a very standard and reliable design. So um, this one, I love it. I think it's a cool gun by Century. So again, that person that wants to collect the MP5s that just longs to have that H&K type gun, um, that's where this is going to that's where this is going to excel. I think there are guns out there that perform better um, for a lot cheaper and have more features, you know, bolt hold open, stuff like that, but they don't look like an MP5 and they're not an MP5. This pretty much is. So thank you all so much. Hope you all like this video. I'll see you guys later.